Hi guys, it's me again. Um, it's been a week and I haven't really been making any videos and I've been kind of busy and haven't been making any of my blogs like normal. And I just wanted to give you guys a count of what we've done this week. Needless to say, it starts on Thursday, a week from today. I figured that was more appropriate. Thursday, Jared came home from school and uh, he brought home a new friend. Yay! <laughs> The little boy has a speech impediment, and uh, it's hard to understand. But he proceeded to tell me that he had nowhere to go. His father wasn't home, and his little sister was sick. So I said, okay, um, where do you live? He said, across the street. And I said, okay, well, you can come in for five minutes, but then we have to find your dad and see what's going on, because I really don't think your father wants you inside a house that they don't know. We're strangers. For all he knows, we could be horrible people. So, he comes in, plays with Jared for five minutes, and then there's a knock on the door. And uh, the little boy, who I don't know, answers my door. And it's the kid who was here a week before that we just met, who stole my house key. So, yeah, I didn't want him in my house. But needless to say, the little boy says, oh, come on in and play. We would love to have you play with us. So, I'm stuck with two kids. So they start playing Jared's Xbox 360. I figured, you know, they're inside, I can watch them, I know they're behaving, they're doing the right thing. And I proceed to ask this little boy, who has a speech impediment, <laughs> where do you live again? He said, I live across the street. I said, okay, well, if you live across the street, because we live on base housing, you can see apartments and you can see housing and parking, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. And I said to him, well, what kind of car does your dad drive? And, and is it parked outside? And he said, well, yeah, my dad's car is there. And I said, okay, well, then that means your dad's home, right? Um, yeah, my dad's home, but I'm not allowed to uh, go home because my sister's coughing and I'm not allowed in the house. Okay, now I'm kind of complex and I don't know what to think to that. So I run and grab the phone and call my husband, <laughs> who is starting formation, of course, so he's unable to talk to me and I put him in an awkward situation. So he says, I will be home as soon as possible. Yay! So when I come back out, the little boy who stole my house key was in my kitchen stealing food. <laughs> okay. My husband comes home, and uh, <laughs> he gets the little boy, um, and he says, well, we're going to walk you home. And he exhorts the other child that shouldn't be in my house as well out the door. And... Uh, he comes back 20 minutes later and proceeds to tell me that <laughs> his father was outside looking for the little boy. The little boy should have came home. He was fully aware that his daddy was home and he was not allowed to come to our house, which I had that huge feeling about. So needless to say, we got him home to his really scared family, which we're really thankful for. 20 minutes later passed and I jump in the shower get ready and then I'm blow drying my hair and I get a knock on the door. My husband goes to it because I'm not dressed. I'm just wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> and it's the whole family, the little boy, his sister, his mom, and his dad. So I peek behind the door and I'm talking to them. Just you can only see my head. That's all you can see. And uh, <laughs> They proceed to tell me that this little boy is a pathological liar and he's having help for this. Okay. To make it even more fun, I explained that he was a great child. There was not a problem. He's welcome to come here as long as his parents know that he's allowed to come over and he has to be honest about the whole situation. At the end of the conversation, I thought everything was fine, which it was. <laughs> Oh, goodness. They invited us <laughs> to go to an adult party that she was holding in the basement for couples. And if we wanted to have more fun, the children had their own little room. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm going to come to your basement for an adult theme party. I don't think so. So that was Thursday. Friday, <laughs> we were going to have a little bit more fun, but my husband woke up really sick, and yeah, he ran to the bathroom all 
weekend long. We did absolutely nothing. Not one thing. My weekend was like this. That's my weekend. Did you have a good weekend? <laughs> I hope you did, because mine 